Now in this session we are discussing client server model. In the previous video we have discussed file server model. So in the file server model we found so many different disadvantages and that has been recovered in this particular file server model. You can watch the previous video for the file server model also. In case of client server model here we will be having multiple client machines connected with one database server through a computer communication network or through computer network. These client PCs are having running some application programs which users are using. The application programs will have a very easy interface let it be say GUI interface through which the user can generate their queries. The queries generation, the generation of the query will remain transparent to the user, user will remain unaware of the fact that they are generating a query because user is interacting with the GUI environment. The query thus generated will be made available to the respective database server through the computer network. Database server is having the full version of the database. The database server will check the query. It will check the required data for the query processing and also it will check that which user has originated this particular query and also it will check the respective authenticity of the user. So now the query will be processed at the server end. After processing the result will be produced and that result will be made available to the respective client machine. The after getting the client, after getting the result, the client machine will display the result in a proper way. So in this way the user can access the database but in spite of the fact that database is not residing at the client machine or database is not coming to the client machine through the computer communication network. All the processing will be done only at the server end. As a result of that the server should have a compatible architecture so that it can deal with the data processing of the database and can deal with the multiple clients. A network bandwidth also should be accordingly. But the client machines as they are only producing the queries and getting the required data from the database as the query output and they are only displaying that one. So these client machines may have the low configuration or the low end architecture also because they are not doing the database processing which we had in our file server model. So this is the total uh, features, this is the total story regarding this client server model. So let us go through the diagram and the respective descriptions. So this is my computer network with this multiple client machines are connected and this is our database server. From the client the queries will be generated and they will be for requesting for data and the data will be processed rather the query will be processed at the, at the server end after checking all these issues the, whether the user is authentic, uh, authentic to issue such queries or not and so on and then the database will produce the output of the query after being processed and then the selected data only will be made available to the respective client who was the query generator. So if you go for the client features the client is having application program and the program will have some easy user interface let it be GUI interface but it is obviously not mandatory that all the client machines will have the GUI interface but nowadays GUI interface is the common one presents results against the database queries The query will, uh, will be processed at the server end and the result will be made available to the client and client will display the result in a very uh, smart way so that the user can, uh, can get satisfied and get, get something from the data obtained and it will on this application program will also generate these queries. Preparation of the query will remain transparent to the application program users. So application program users to them the generation of this query will remain transparent. May have low compatible architecture because the processing is not getting done at the client end. So that is why the client computer may have the low end architecture. Let us uh, discuss something about the database server also. The server responds to the queries from the clients and checks the syntax of these commands and verifies the access rights of the user which I was 
talking about this particular user authenticity and whether the user is having the respective rights to generate such queries, access that portion of the database or not. Execute these uh, commands and responds with desired data or error messages if something is happening wrong. Then the error message will get generated, otherwise it will send the required data as it has been asked by the client. The server hides the server system from the client and from the end user also, so that the user is completely unaware of the server's hardware and the software configurations. So, in this way the server architecture will remain will, will be will be kept hidden to the end user and the with the client also. So, in this way the basic theme behind this client server model we have explained in this particular video. Thanks for watching this video.